we understand why we need units? Yes? Are we awake by now? Are we putting our pens down? Or I'm going to give you lots of holiday homework. You guys didn't turn the heating on to begin with. Now, conversion. We need to be able to convert from one unit to the other and it will become more obvious in the second lesson why we learned that. So, I've made it into a chart for you. So, if is kilometer a bigger unit? Yes. So, if I'm going from a bigger unit to a smaller, will I have more of that? Yes. So, you times. So, going from a bigger unit to a smaller, you need to multiply by a factor because there will be more of it. So, one meter, thousand meters are in one kilometer. So, from going to kilometers to meters, you'll times it by thousand. Then, how many centimeters in a meter? Hundred. How many millimeters in a centimeter? Ten. So see, one zero, two zeros, three zeros. And then when we go in the other direction, what do we do? Divide. Divide, divide by 10, <coughs> divide by 100, divide by 1,000. OK? Now, converting. Going from kilometers to meters, so you look at the chart. Kilometers to meters, what do we do? Times by? Thousand. Now this is a completely techable topic. We put our pens down and we listen. So working out eight kilometers equals what's the conversion factor? Timesing by thousand. thousand. So write eight times thousand meters. <coughs> this one's easy, but you will have access to your calculator just in case. Correct? You must show that working out. Remember I mean. Millimeters to centimeters. Millimeters to centimeters. What do we do? Divide by 10. ten. So you write that. 9 millimeter equals 9 divided by 10 centimeters. <coughs> if you remember your decimals, we don't have time to go through our decimals. We've done them. Or you use your calculator and it will be 9.9. .9. Kilometers to centimeters. Now, kilometers to centimeters. There's meters in between. So to go from kilometers to meters, we times by 1,000. Then from meters to centimeter, we times by 100. So how many zeros you reckon you'll have to multiply with from kilometers to centimeters? 3 plus 2? 5. So it'll be 51.2 times 1, 2, 3. So basically, you're multiplying it by 1,000 first and then 100. Which is that many. Yeah. yeah, but there was a decimal. Oh, yeah. Okay? Now, millimeters to meters. Millimeters to meters, dividing by one, two, three zeros. So, 500 divided by... So, can I write it as a fraction? So I get 5 over 10, which can be written as 0.5, one decimal place. Okay? So what have we learned today? What, what is length? Why do we need units? We don't just need units for length. Why do we have so many different kinds of units and how to convert? In the second lesson, we'll talk about why we learned how to convert. Get on with your work. <coughs>